y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and today we are going to make fabric washi ruffles. Now I know I showed washi ruffles and washi tape on another episode, but I found a trick that works with fabric when doing this that will help you out. So let's get this show started. Record. Okay, so you're going to turn your fabric where it's wrong side facing up. You're going to take your double sided tape and you're going to start taking the sticky stuff and putting it down. And here's the trick to it. The hardest one to do is going to be your first one. You stick it down and rub it down pretty good. And then you're going to flip it over where you can look at it and your sticky stuff is still over here to the, to the side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your material, you're going to fold up, stick, fold up, stick. Now how big you want your ruffles is up to you. You're going to fold up and stick and you want to kind of keep this line straight so your ruffles stay straight. And put your tape back here to this side of you and it'll be easier because then the sticky side is out of your way. So you're going to fold up and stick down. Fold up, and sometimes if you get too far ahead, you'll do that. And you have to kind of pick it up, straighten it out. But this is the hardest part of this, is doing the first one. Because there's a trick to doing the second one. You're going to fold up, stick down, fold up, stick down, fold up, stick down. And you're going to do this till you get to the end of your fabric. And you're just going to keep folding up, stick down. And I'm tucking about a quarter of an inch up for my loop. And then I'm sticking the next loop down. Okay, when you're folding this, you should, when you look at it from the side, your little loops should look like this. When I'm saying stick down, you're actually sticking the next section of fabric down. Let me see if I can show you like this. See if this shows up better on camera. So I'm making a little loop and then I'm sticking it down. I'm folding up and sticking down. Fold up, stick down. And that's the end of it. Now I'm going to tear that off. So now this is what you've got. You've got a piece of material with all these little ruffles. Okay. And if you're making washi tape ruffles, this is the best way to make them out of the fabric. So what I'm doing now is I straightened out all my fabric. Because I told you the second one was going to be really easy. So what I'm doing is kind of lining up my fabric and I'm going to take my washi or my my double-sided tape, stick down one more time about an inch away. Now it depends on how much wide you want your ruffle, how far down you're going to stick the next one. And then I'm going to tear it off. Okay, then I'm going to come down here, straighten this out again. And I'm going to do a video where I show what I'm doing with all these washi ruffles we're making. So now I've straightened them out again to get them all lined up. And I'm going to take me another piece. And I'm going to come over about an inch again. And stick it down. And you'll keep repeating this process. This process of these over and over and over. Until you get all the way down to the end of your fabric if you want that much washi. So then what you're going to do at this point is you're going to come in between the first and the second one and cut it right down the middle. And when you turn it over, you have your washi ruffle. We're going to do one more. Cut it right down the middle. And then you got your washi ruffle. Now if you're not sure how much you're going to need, leave this piece on here until you get use these pieces up and that way you can don't have to do that first step over again and then you will have you just put down your next do this repeat the second step and over again and that way you don't have to work so hard okay that's it for the washi ruffles now what we're going to make now is these little rosettes out of the uh, double-sided tape. 
Now what I did is I took, I'm going to cut me a piece of this material, a strip of it, and you don't need a very long piece. Depends on how big you want yours to be. And I'm tearing about two inches of my double sided tape. I'm going to turn it over where the sticky side is facing up and I'm going to take and start at the center of my tape and this really works better if you have uh, a wider piece of tape but this is the largest I have so I wanted some of these little rosettes and what I'm doing is I'm only going halfway over the tape and I'm going to fold a little ruffle fold a little ruffle stick it down Fold a little ruffle, stick it down. And what I'm doing each time I stick it down is I'm curving around a little bit more. Okay. And then when you get over here to this side of it, you're going to want to cross over your tape like this. And you're going to start sticking down the next part of your little rosette. And we're going to stick it down. If you stick down too much, just pull it back up real quick. Stick it down again and keep sticking down until you've made your little rosette. When you get back around here to this end, you're going to want to take and match up your end with the other end and then stick it down. And then you have your little ruffle. Now we got this piece over here on the end. We're going to tear that off. Oh, my end came apart. I didn't get it all stuck down. So I ran out of little tape back there. I'm going to stick this piece, this end piece over here so I can use it. And I'm going to stick my little ruffles down until they match up. Okay. And then you got your little rosette. Okay. If you got a piece that's not sticking down, you can use a stapler. And I want to show you a trick with the stapler. If I can find my stapler. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, let's say this little piece didn't stick down all the way like we wanted it to, and our area that we're sticking it in is red. So the little trick that I have for you is you're gonna take a red Sharpie marker, you're gonna take your staples out of your stapler. I learned this from my husband, he's an upholsterer, and he showed me how to do this. Okay, you're going to take and color your staples. Now, you don't have to color your whole line of staples. Just the, a few of them. Okay? And you color your staples on the end. And then you stick that end that you colored facing towards the end that's going to come out. Okay? And then you're ready to go. So this is going to be red. I know my material is not red right here, but I'm showing you this for so you can see it. Uh, hopefully it'll show up on camera. You just take your staple and staple right down through that and see that red staple? Now it's red instead of that silver color. Okay. Then when you get ready to uh, use these little rosettes, you just peel off this right over the staple just like you would a bow when you're putting it on the package and it comes off really easy but I wanted to show you all those tricks and all right y'all we're back and we just made this washi ribbon out of material and I hope you like this episode of the crafty art shack and don't forget that little trick that I showed you with coloring your staples if you have sharpie markers of every color you can color it anything you want to match whatever you have what a neat trick, right? Okay, we'll see you on the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. Like us, subscribe to us, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. Bye! Did y'all enjoy that? <laughs> what? Oh. These lights. Alright y'all, we just finished our washi ribbon. 
Don't forget to join us on another episode of the Crafty Art Shack where we use all this washi stuff we've been making. And don't forget the little staple trick. We'll see you on the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. See you later.